Let's take a look now at nets. So on the left, we've got a cube. Now the net of a cube is the shape in its sort of flattened form. So if you imagine what it would look like if you needed to do some origami, uh, what, what it would look like if you needed to build a cube from a flat piece of paper. And these are various nets of cubes because we can fold all of these and here, 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 and here, that would make a cube. Similarly, if we make folds here, 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 and here, it would also make a cube. All of these will make a cube. Uh, the key thing is that if you've got this sort of straight line with one on the top, we need one on the bottom as well. It <clears throat> doesn't really matter where they are. It can be directly uh, above each other or slightly to the side. I mean, this cube could also be here or it could also be here. And this cube could be, as long as one's on the top and one's on the bottom, we've got a net of a cube. And this is also another net of a cube. It's, it takes a while to get your head around this one, but that is also the correct net of a cube. So here we have the net of a shape. Well, we know it's the net of a cube because we've seen it on the previous picture. But if we fold this square up, again, like I said, imagine you're doing some origami. If you fold this up, it's gonna look like this. Now, if you fold the next side up, it's gonna look like that. And if we fold this square up, it will now look like this. And if we fold this part up, it will look like this. And then finally, if we fold this square over, we've now got a box, we've now got our cube. So here are some nets of other shapes. So this is the net of a cuboid. As you can see, it's a rectangle, uh, well, four rectangles, one, two, the third rectangle be underneath and the fourth rectangle behind. And we need a square on the top and on the bottom. They don't need to be exactly in this position. The square could be here or here or here on the top and on the bottom. It could be here, here or here, but one must be on the top and one must be on the bottom. Otherwise it won't work. Same with the triangular prism. We've got a rectangular base here. Again, if you sort of imagine it as a 3D drawing, not the best 3D drawing, but you've got a rectangle uh, here. You've also got another rectangle here and another rectangle around the back. So if you fold it out, you've got three rectangles and a triangular top and a triangle on the bottom there, which represents the triangular face here and the triangular face here. Now these triangles don't have to be exactly in this position. The triangles could be here or here and here or here, but one must be on the top, one must be on the bottom. If they're both on the same side, then it's not a correct net. This is the net of a square-based pyramid. Again, what we have here, here's our square and we've got four triangles on top. And you can imagine that if we fold around these four sides here, then these points will all come together to form the top of a pyramid, provided we fold all of these in the same direction. Here is the net of a cylinder. So if you've ever got a toilet roll and just cut it and opened it up, you realize that it forms a perfect rectangle. So on the top of the rectangle, we are gonna have a circle and also on the bottom, we have another circle. So there needs to be a circle top and bottom. The circle can be anywhere on the top and this circle can be anywhere here and we still have the correct net of a cylinder.